Really quick, before this video starts, I do want to give a shout out to our sponsor, Messy Modding Store. His link will be down in the description if you guys do want to check him out. He offers all kinds of services for all kinds of different games. Call of Duty, Red Dead Redemption 2, Elden Ring, GTA 5, Fortnite, Helldivers 2, even mobile games like 8-Ball, Clash Royale, Clash of Clans, whatever you want. Uh, he's, he's probably got it. But yeah, like I said, his link will be down there if you want to go check him out. Now I'm going to let the video play out. Hey guys, the Beditor Editor coming at you guys with a solo money and XP glitch in the game of Red Dead Online. Coming at you at the uh, re really weird hours of the morning on your Monday morning. It's going to be probably around 2.30 to 3 a.m. when this video comes up, my time. Uh, and we're going to be covering the spot of Manzanita Post. Now the coin is here, right here. And then we can also get a arrowhead right here. And there's going to be a card here. Uh, I'll show you where that is whenever we get there um now it doesn't matter if the cards here or not you can still find a new session over there and get that anyway but it is here for today uh, but the arrowhead and the coin you can only get that for the day that i upload this video uh, i'm trying to think it's going to be for the next like maybe 16 hours after this video goes up uh, that you'll be able to grab the coin and the arrowhead. You just can't force spawn diggables with the find new session glitch, but you can spawn in everything else. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. It's very difficult, and no, I'm just kidding. You're going to show up at the Manzanita post spot. You can fast travel straight here. Stand right here, kind of equidistant from the log and the uh, stairs. I don't know why my brain did not want to think of the word stairs. Press the pause button, go to online, and find yourself a new free roam session. Now what that's going to do, it's going to force spawn. Let me move my fan, actually. I'm sorry if you heard like a rumbling in the background. My fan was connected to the desk, so that could have been bad. But it's going to force spawn all the things that can spawn here, and we're going to collect them and grab them all. Uh, because if they're not here, if you find a new session, it makes them appear for some reason like we're a magician now i'm going to show you where everything is and uh so you don't have to find it yourself but on the playstation platform you can only use this one time per 24 hours uh you can go to other spots and do those but you can only do those spots one time per 24 hours so like we could do manzanita then go do window rock then go do armadillo then go do coulter but you're going to have to wait a day if you want to do all those spots again. Now, on the Xbox and PC, you can do them unlimitedly, back to back to back. But there is extra steps involved. And on the PC and Xbox, let me explain this really quick. You're going to do exactly what we do in this video. Find new session, collect all the items. Once they're all gone, though, you're going to close your application. And then you're on the Xbox, you're going to clear out your reserve space, Red Dead Redemption 2. If you don't know how to do that, give that a Google. Load back in the game and everything should be back. And you can grab them again. You would just rinse and repeat those steps. And then for the PC, instead of clearing reserve space, because that technically doesn't exist, you're going to clear out the uh, temp folder by going to the search bar and typing in the uh, percent symbol, followed by the letters T-E-M-P, percent symbol, so percent, temp, percent, and then load up that file, delete everything in there that's in there, and then load back in the game and everything should be back. There you go. Sorry, it took me a while to explain it that time. All right, so the first item is this table right here to the right of the house. From, if you're facing it from the front, it's to the right. We're going to wrap around, go ahead and grab the coin. Now, for the coin in the arrowhead, you are going to need a metal detector. If you do not have a metal detector, you will not be able to get these items. And the metal detector, you got to be at least level 10 in the collector roll. Buy it. And I believe it's like 700 bucks, but you'll be able to make your money back pretty fast if you follow these videos or just do it normally by looking up the Gene Ropke map on Google. And then over here on this uh, railing of the porch here, there's going to be a card. Now once you grab that card, you can go over here. There's going to be a table sitting here with a pot on it. And you can go ahead and grab that card. There's going to be three more items we're going to grab over here, inside of here. And there's going to be a uh, what is it in this? Oh, an alcohol bottle, Tennessee whiskey, inside of this uh, cabinet. Then we can grab the card up here on this log. Go ahead and grab that. Then we can go over here under the bed. There's going to be a card. Bear with me. I'm going to... Okay, I was about to say I'm going to cut the video until I can get it because sometimes this thing will not let you grab it. Alrighty, so that's everything for this particular spot. There is two other things that we can go grab. There's going to be the arrowhead over here, and then there's going to be the card down here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to spawn in my horsey 
go get the card first because it's right down there. Now sometimes finding a new session over here and getting all these things in will spawn the card down here. It's just kind of random if it works or not. Otherwise you can just go down here and find a new session and it'll spawn for you regardless. So this is where it spawns. It's on this bench. You can go ahead and grab it right there. Like I said, if it's not there for you, find a new session near it, it'll spawn in. Then there's going to be an arrowhead over here. Uh, I'll show you the location on the map one more time. I swear I thought I was about to ragdoll. It's like right at the bottom of the left side of the inn. And now you do need the metal detector to get it, obviously, because it is a metal item. For the uh, the fossils, you'd, you'd still need a metal detector even though it's bone. So, I mean, what were these animals made of, you know? It kind of makes you... Uh, when I ask some questions. But yeah, this is uh, this is it for the video. This is all the items. It's a pretty good haul. You can go to Madame Nazar now, sell your items. If you don't own the Collector Roll, though, Collector Roll, though, you won't be able to sell them. So you're going to have to buy the Collector Roll via 15 gold. It might be 10 now, I don't know, because there is, like, some bonuses going on. But regardless, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, drop it a like. If you did not, drop it a dislike. If you guys want to see more videos like this, and it's a button, we'll see more. I learned all that stuff. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. I ain't got no more talking.